Okay, now it's quite important before we go much further. One of the important things is is required fuel, engine sequential set or engine settings, engine constants. Um, select required fuel. Yours might look a bit different to this because this is an MS3, MS2, and MS1. They're exactly the same, though. Uh, in theory, it's just the box is a little bit different. You've got sequential fuel in MS3, not in MS2 and MS1. So required fuel. Select required fuel calculator. Set up your engine size in CC or CID if you prefer that. Number of cylinders. Injector flow per cylinder per injector. Air fuel ratio leave at 14.7. That's standard. Uh, make sure if you're um, in pounds or CC per minute for your injectors and click OK. You should end up with a value here of say between eight and eighteen. If you go, if you're getting values of twenty-five, thirty, then there's something wrong. If you're getting values of less than eight, then you've done something wrong. So double check that. So that's thirteen point one. And what that makes burn that to the ECU with. You'd have to do this with the ECU connected and powered up. Right, injector characteristics um, this is for if you've got low impedance injectors if you've got high impedance injectors then um, with high impedance means um, the resistance of your injectors is 10 ohms or greater than that um, then you're fine if you've got low impedance injectors then you'll measure an a, a injector and they'll be sort of lower than 4 ohms um, so um, all my ECUs come up set up for high impedance injectors so you need to set it up for low impedance if you've got them. Injector opening time on a high impedance injector is uh, 1 millisecond, battery voltage correction around 0.2, these are standard settings. Um, these are standard for MS1, MS2 and MS3 um, unless you know the characteristics, uh, characteristics of your injectors that are different, that's sta pretty standard. Then you've got pulse width modulation current limit, PWM current limit percentage. Um, for um, high impedance injectors, greater than 10 ohms, 100% in there. Um, if you've got low impedance injectors, then I'd start with 30% in there. Uh, the time threshold in milliseconds uh, for high impedance is 25.4, 25.6, something like that. It doesn't really make much difference. Um, for low impedance injectors, uh, then uh, one millisecond in there is a good starting point and the um, pulse width modulation period 66 microseconds there, that's a good base to start with so um, like I say high impedance is 100 on these last three is 100 25.6, 25.5, 4 and uh, 66 microseconds I'm not, I don't think you can set that one in MS1 um, if you've got low and pink injectors, then go in here and go 30% in there and uh, 1 millisecond. Okay, throttle position calibration. Uh, it's important for the ECU to know what, what voltages comes in. Uh, fully closed and fully open throttle. Wide open throttle. Uh, in order to do that, we need to go into um, tools. Calibrate TPS. Okay, and we've got closed throttle ADC count and full throttle ADC count. ADC counts the analog to digital converter. Um, on MS2 and MS3, the 0 to 5 volt range is 0 to 1023. On MS1, that's 0 to 255. Okay, so um, we need to, on fully closed, so foot off the throttle with the throttles plates all shut or at rest with the engine connected to the mega squirt connected and all wired in we click on get current and then with fully throttle we want put the foot flat on the floor open the throttles up fully you can see the bar go up click on get current there you go get current then we can close that now the throttle angle Gauge shows 0 to 100% on the throttle. Just let me open that up again. Um, on you'd expect closed throttle to be between zero and 
say two or three hundred for MS2 and uh, three, and you'd also expect it to be between naught and say twenty twenty five for MS1. Full throttle uh, on MS2 and MS3, you'd expect somewhere around a thousand or just over, and uh, MS1 you expect from two hundred to two hundred fifty five. If you're not getting that range, then you're not getting naught to five volts out of the throttle position sensor. If you're getting a high value here and low value here, then you've got the uh, throttle position sensor wired the wrong way around. The 0 and 5 volts are the wrong way around.